Hi, uh, did Jesus Christ predict the coming of the comet planet Nibiru? Well, let's take a look at um, Revelations 6, 12 to 17 and compare those directly with the scientific projections of what would happen if uh, a body the size of Nibiru, which is eight times the size of the Earth, possibly more, passed through our solar system. Okay, and let's see if, if that matches up with Jesus Christ's prophecy of the end of the world. Um, it says here, I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair, and the whole moon turned blood red. Let's take those parts first. There will be a great earthquake. If a body that size passes through our solar system, there will be a tremendous earthquake on this earth. There, uh, there will be such an earthquake that, um, as Jesus said, not one stone shall be left on another. Now that would have to be a tremendous earthquake. Now let's get to that point in just one moment uh, and how that will, will happen and just how huge it will be and why it will be that huge. Um, it says that the sun turned black like sackcloth. Now all the volcanoes will erupt. Obviously there will there'll be a, a lot of seismic activity uh, and the skies will be darkened because of the ash. But this planet may also this time travel between the sun and the earth thereby causing uh, a, a tremendous eclipse. And there's an important part here. Uh, every part is important because these are the words of Jesus. But it says that uh, the, the sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair. Now that's a direct reference to Satan. So Satan is involved here. Then it says the whole moon turned blood red. Now this giant planet Nibiru um, is, is supposedly red. So if it caused an eclipse, its reflection will reflect off, off the moon and that will reflect red. Um, that would happen even if it was just the volcanoes erupting and blackening the sky. So whichever way you look at it, um, Jesus has told us what's going to happen so far. He's got it right and science is catching up. Let's carry on. It then says the stars in the sky fell to earth. Now, with a planet this size, eight times the size of the earth, possibly more, it will attract every piece of debris and meteorites and so forth um, that are within our solar system towards it. And as they're traveling towards it, obviously it's moving away. Um, they will be trailing along behind it and they will hit anything um, in, in, in their path. Basically, the earth will get hit by, by stars, if you like. In those days, it they would have looked at a, a meteorite as a star. So, again, Jesus Christ has got that right as well. Then, it carries on, the sky receded like a scroll. Well, how's the sky going to recede like a scroll? Well, the scientific projections say that uh, it, when this body passes through our solar system, it will realign our, our Earth poles will realign to the poles of this planet Nibiru. So, here's my little planet here, okay? A uh, big planet like Nibiru comes past, we will be pulled out of orbit, and the Earth will tip. Now, let's just go through that bit again. It says that the sky receded like a scroll. When the poles realign, the Earth will move like this. Imagine the earthquake, firstly. It would be such an earthquake, now, now you can imagine that not one stone will be left upon another. And also, the sky would recede like a scroll. So, that bit fits as well. And every mountain and island was removed from its place. Well, obviously, if the earth tips like this, okay, um, every mountain and every island will no longer be where it was. It will have moved. It will be in another place. And then it says that the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and every slave and every free man hid in caves amongst the rocks and mountains and called to the rocks, fall on us and save us. Um, hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the day of their wrath has come. And who can stand? So God has predicted that they at that point will attribute the great destruction to him. He obviously prophesied correctly that uh, people will take to going underground to uh, try and save themselves. Um, governments all over the world have um, dug complexes under the earth to save the human race. They're talking about themselves, but they like to call themselves the human race. Um, now let's just take this another step further, because in another passage, in um, Revelations 21.1, 1, 
Um, it says, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. So let's just look at our planet one more time. Planet Nibiru comes, pulls us out of our usual orbit, and our poles realign. No longer would we be seeing the same perspective of the heavens, of the stars and so forth. We would be seeing a new heaven. And the land mass of the earth would change. The waters would redistribute. So there would be a new earth. So a new heaven and a new earth. All of God's promises seem to be fulfilled in the scientific projections of what will happen if this planet Nibiru passes through our solar system as it seems it will do. Taking all of these things into account, for those of you who don't believe in Jesus Christ, um, perhaps it's time that you took a, a little bit of time to do what Jesus said. Seek and you will find. Um, because if this is correct, the end is coming, it's not far off, and only those who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus will be saved. Um, please make sure that you're one of them.